Welcome to Modernizing Python Applications Migration to Python 3.x. This is Alberto and it's gonna be your instructor. I'm an experienced data scientist. I have more than 10 years of Python experience and I published several books on machine learning, deep learning, data science, and Python, of course. I also serve as a tech reviewer and a conference speaker. I currently work in the advertisement industry. Let's now see how the course is gonna be organized. We're gonna have five sections. The first one will introduce what are the differences between Python 2 and 3 and what are the breaking changes between them. In section two, we will see what's a great building strategy for migration, optionally maintaining backward compatibility. In section three, we're gonna see how to migrate your code from Python 2 to Python 3. In section four, we will see some DevOps approach to simplify migration tips and tricks. Finally, section five will be about testing and deploying, monitoring and debugging your code. Let's now see an overview. Python 2 won't be maintained anymore soon. An application should be maintained to Python 3. An application should be migrated to Python 3. That's not an easy task, unfortunately, especially if your application have dependencies. Also, it's even harder if you want to maintain backward compatibility. So if your application needs to run on both Python 2 and Python 3. Fortunately, with a series of tools, practice and tips, they will help us in doing so. And easily you can migrate your application from Python 2 into Python 3 and eventually maintaining backward compatibility. Also, we're gonna see how to make a transition effective and efficient. I think you're choosing well with this class because Python is really a great language, but Python 2 is almost at the end of life. By the 1st of January 2020, it's gonna be not maintained anymore and Python 3 will be the only maintained Python. There are actually several techniques to upgrade your Python code to Python 3. And of course, remember that Python 3 is and will be the future of Python. Migration might be one of the hardest operation for software engineer. So I really suggest you to watch these videos because it will tell you exactly how to do the migration in an effective and an efficient way. Also, again, I will stress that, that Python 2 won't be maintained anymore since the 1st of January 2020. So you need to have a migration strategy in order to continue to use your application after this deadline. The requisites of this class are that you need to have some exposure to both Python 2 and the essentials of Python 3. You also need to have, for example, an application to migrate to Python 3. And eventually, you need some maintain compatibility with Python 2 with your application. You also need to have some understanding of agile, tooling, infrastructure, and DevOps to test and deploy software in both Python 2 and Python 3. Let's get started now.